most obvious change on Windows Mobile 6.1, at least for the smartphones running the standard edition, is the new panels interface. Much like the Neo interface found on the T-Mobile Shadow, the home screen is now made up of panels, and you can select a panel and then move left to right to get to different aspects of that panel. Like this is the messaging panel, so you can see email, missed calls, voicemail, text messages, you know, personal email. Same thing works with appointments, the getting started, and you'll notice in each one, each screen can have a different shortcut for the right soft key. You know, for text messages, the soft key is set to compose. Same thing for emails, but for missed calls, compose doesn't make any sense, so it says call history here, voicemail. Your media files can all be accessed from the new interface, uh, including photos. You can actually scroll through and look at the photos right here on your Today screen. Profiles, Wireless Manager, and a shortcut to the main settings. Well, it is basically just a plug-in for the home screen. It does make things easier to use for people. You can find common applications without having to delve into the menus. A lot of people are probably still going to like the old-style menus, or home screen rather, that just shows all the information you need. A number of new features have been added to Windows Mobile 6.1 that affect the messaging system. For one, we now have Threaded SMS, just like Palm has had for quite some time, gives your text messaging a somewhat instant messaging look to it. System's not perfect. Uh, you know, sometimes it's difficult to get the messages to pull up in the thread when you select a the wrong message, such as this one. But in general, it works. Another feature you'll see that's new is by it's multi-select. Normally, you could only do multi-select for messages while on a pocket PC type phone, but now by holding down the shift key on a query equipped device, we can select multiple messages and then you know, choose to move them, delete them, or whatever. It saves a bit of time rather than going back and forth, delete, 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 delete. Another handy feature that applies to not only messaging, but also you know, document editing and web browsing is the new copy and paste functionality. Just so we can see it, we're going to create a dummy message here. Type some text. I typed the word text, and now I'm going to use the shift key to select it. Bring up the menu. Go to copy paste. Copy. Put a couple spaces in here. And I'll go back down to the menu and paste it again. It'll come in handy for, you know, messaging, web browsing, all sorts of things. It's not as easy as doing it on a touch screen with a pocket PC type device, but it's still better than what we had before. Another feature that Windows Mobile has been in sore need of for quite some time is an easily accessible task manager, and that's what we have here in version 6.1. On the Blackjack 2 at least, you know, holding down the home key will bring up the task manager, which shows all the running applications, gives you information in terms of CPU utilization, memory. You can even switch it at the view to look at actual processes instead, although you can't kill processes individually. But it does give you an idea of what's going on. You can see programs like the voice commander that are running in the background, things like that that you wouldn't have been able to see otherwise. While some of the new getting started uh, screens are fairly interactive and wizard-like, some of them are just basic information on how to get things done, like this one here for transferring music. It's basically just an information screen. The one for setting the clock and time and everything like that is a little more complex. It gives a little more functionality. Walks you through things a little more easily. So there you have it, the new Windows Mobile dis system, uh, 6.1. This is the standard edition. There's a new version for the Pocket PC type devices too, which we also have used, but uh, it really hasn't changed much from 6.0. Most of the changes for 6.1 are for smartphone type devices like this Blackjack 2 here. 
step in the right direction until we get to version 7 or whatever replaces 6.1, but um, definitely pleased to see it finally come out.